about seven by, I guess, nine and a half. This video is about changing the throttle position sensor on your Honda CRX. Uh, specifically, this Honda CRX is an 88 SI model, uh, which may or may not make a difference. Uh, first, we'll go over the tools you need. You'll need you'll need a volt ohm meter, one of these, to see if your throttle position sensor actually needs replacing. And if it does need replacing, then you will need either a Dremel, a Dremel, um, or a chisel, a small hammer, uh, some careful work, and uh, you're probably going to fuck up your chisel. So just know that you can always resharpen it. Um, so the process is to test, test if your throttle position sensor is still any good. You go back here, um, there's your fuel injection, and then you go back here, this is your throttle position sensor, and the wire, there's the tab right there to hold it on. Um, you basically need to probe into the red wire which isn't seen because it's under this blue thing which I've mounted there but there's a red wire there's three wires there's yellow green and red and you need to take your volt ohm meter and stick presumably the red probe into into the red wire um, and this probe is clearly too fat so what you'll need is I guess also called a probe and you throw that probe, you jam it into the receptacle of that red wire on the housing and eventually you'll contact some metal. I don't have one of those so what I did is I took one of these uh, uh, electrical tappers that you typically use for hooking up trailer wires and I stuck that on there so what it does is it actually cuts into the wire and uh, there's another there's another hole in here and I just jam this red thing into the hole and it, it basically indirectly contacts the, the wire there. And then you set your volt ohm meter to measure in between uh, basically up to 10 volts, 10 to 20 volts. And um, you stick the negative, negative probe, um, you'll stick that grounded somewhere. So I just stuck it on my battery terminal the negative battery terminal and uh, you turn the car on but don't start the engine um, turn the car on all the way except for starting the engine you, you get that there's two probes in contact where they should be and uh, you look at the voltage and if the voltage doesn't match and doesn't uh, progress smoothly from 0.5 or less like 0.45 to 0.5 up smoothly up to at the top of the uh, the bottom of the throttle press down about 10 volts don't quote me on that on the top but you're looking for a smooth progressive transition um, raising the voltage as you press down the accelerator pedal so if your throttle position sensor is displaying um, a voltage of 0.5 or technically greater than 0.5 um, your computer is going to interpret that signal as a slightly or grossly open throttle and uh, that's a problem. That was a case with this 300,000 mile old vehicle. Now, this throttle body, which has a bunch of devices on it, it's like 140 bucks or something, is ridiculously expensive. So to, uh, um, and it's designed such that you can't replace the throttle position sensor on this vehicle without doing some modification to your vehicle or just literally breaking it off of there. So you'll have a choice. Either you use a Dremel, and there's there's two. I'll show you the old throttle position sensor. What you're looking at, if you look at the back of the engine, there's two holes where there are screws, but um, this one this one I snapped off of there, so we don't have it on there. But basically, where my thumb is, there's another hole, and there's two screws going through there, and the screws have rounded heads you can't really grab onto them. So what you gotta do is you've gotta either use a Dremel and a metal cutting wheel and cut a channel. Can you see a channel in there? 
in the center of the screw or what you can do is basically break the throttle position sensor off of there. So you'd use a chisel and a hammer and you'd just really fuck it up. And um, that can be dangerous because uh, there is this plastic piece there and this is actually in contact with parts of your engine and uh, you could damage your engine if you don't pry it off correctly. So what I'd recommend doing is using a larger metal cutting wheel if you don't have a Dremel and um, smacking um, just like cutting it off there and at the, at the base at the very back here um, good luck with that. Uh, what you'd have to do is basically get this screw off and then pry this direction with a hammer and chisel or with pliers and snap it as I'd done here. Snap it off and then you'll be left with this plastic piece which remains screwed and attached to the bottom. And you take your chisel and in a direction away from the aluminum engine block, aluminum is soft, you hit it and uh, do it slowly and carefully and eventually you get rid of this plastic and what you're left with is this metal, I guess it's it's pretty soft, um, this metal ring that surrounds the screw and it still functions as a spacer and makes the screw basically difficult to uh, manipulate and um, so but you'll see there's a little notch right there But anyway so that comes right apart and you want to uh, tap that device around, tap that little thing around until you can see and access that notch and at that notch you take your chisel and you spread the two pieces apart until this metal ring comes off of the screw. You can then grab the screw with pliers and righty tighty lefty loosey um, take the screw off. So then you have the throttle position sensor off and that's great. Um, your throttle position sensor was bad, it needs replacing if you're gonna pass smog in California. Oh, California, great. Um, and then um, when you put the new one on, if your car is like mine, which it probably is, I imagine, but I don't know, um, this screw hole here, um, remember this little plastic piece there? That has to fit in between two metal prongs which receive it and control its position. So you need to find those metal prongs. So let, let's say your throttle position sensor when it's screwed on is like that. Um, to get that little plastic piece in position you'll have to tilt it about either like 25, 30 degrees or something that way to get it in to the receptacle and then apply some spring pressure and put it back into position like that. Screw it down by hand um, so that it's tight and won't flop out and then measure the voltage of your throttle position sensor and uh, it should register um, as less than or 0.5 volts. If it does, um, you can basically be assured that if you have a new throttle position sensor that you have a fully functional throttle position sensor now and you screw the throttle position sensor back on with the screws you either made or some fresh screws preferably grade 8 steel that you bought at the store to match the thread pattern of the old screws um, so if you do put screw notches into the screws that hold down your throttle position sensor um, you're going to want a uh, a very small either quarter inch breaker bar or quarter inch um, drive ratchet that fits in that tiny space back there. Looks like you got about an inch and a half and with a flathead screwdriver and you use that to jam into the notch that you created and uh, it'll work as a screw. So you've got it changed out, and your engine will run smoother than it has in a long time. They say this typically doesn't need doing. That's why the screws are there. 
but on this 300,000 mile old vehicle, it did happen to be needed. And it, frankly, I'm owner number five. This baby is running smoother than it ever has in the 45,000 miles that I've driven. Hope you enjoy your Honda. And uh, don't pay too much money for shit you don't need. Respect.